Oh, motorbikes. I reckon they're gonna zoom past me there. Oh, that guy just can tell it's. Let's make fun of him. Let's steal his camera. Yep, they're coming now. Welcome to the EVRC and in this video we'll be riding the fantastic Escuta SX250 for the first time. Now you're going to want to see this because although it looks like a little moped, it's actually classed as a legal e-bike, which means it's allowed to travel anywhere a normal bike can and also be ridden legally by a 14 year old without a license or insurance. Imagine your mate turning up and picking you up on this to go down the park to play on the swings. You don't even need a helmet, although we always recommend you wear one. You may trust yourself, but you can't trust anyone else. So yes, this is totally legal as shown on the handy little plate on the back of the bike, but unlike most 250 watt e-bikes, this one holds a very tasty little secret as you will find out later in the video. Trust me, this is no ordinary e-bike. I'll also be doing a full review of this bike when I've ridden it more, so subscribe if you don't want to miss that. Although as I write this, I have ridden it loads. My family and absolutely love it. Anyway, let's make the bike. So as always, we're going to start on this hill. That green button is designed to get you off at the light so you don't have to get pedaling, because as people know, pedal assist can be quite tricky to get you going at the lights, so it can slow you down a bit. But with this green button, it basically is the, the walk mode that bikes have. So it's kind of like an instant throttle that takes you up to six, four miles an hour, six kilometers per hour. So as soon as I start pedaling, it should take me to 15.5 kilometers per hour. So, and I'm gonna start pedaling. And off we go. Now, you are not meant to pedal pedal, like try and force it to go faster. You're just meant to put your feet slowly going around and off you go. So I'm not doing any, I'm not putting any effort in right now. And, <laughs> It's going max speed up this hill, which is faster than most other things. A lot of the other things I've had, especially things that are uh, 250 watts. This is this is craziness. Well, make sure I don't hit them with my camera. So, oh, I've got indicators now. So I should actually uh, indicate as I turn right. So I'm going to indicate right here. You know, I'm going to go straight on. So I'm going to cancel that. So this is, uh, this is cool. It says mode three at the moment. You can, see, I'll change that. The mode does change on the screen, but it actually does nothing because this is 250 watts, limited to 15.5 miles an hour, but in the, uh, on the continent, it can be unlimited and take you 25 miles an hour, which is interesting. Oh, can I get, can I get through here? Oh, I don't know. Oh, just about. And that green button is really handy just to get me going again. It feels a lot more powerful than 250 watts. I'll tell you that. Now, I've got a few e-bikes that are 250 watts and they've been unlimited and they can go about 19 miles an hour max, really. Uh, 48 volts as well. Now this, whoa, <laughs> this is a lot heavier than those bikes. This is 54 kilograms. Um, and if it unlimited, it can go 25, that's mad. The size of the 250 watt super torque motor would suggest that maybe, maybe it's not really a 250 watt motor. But remember, the e-bike e laws in the UK are m mental at the moment, and it's like, you can't have that over 250 watts. So people will get their motor and they'll label it 250 watts and it's all good. Except, they d tend to have a bit more power than that going through them. So this is like, for example, 400, uh, 48 volt battery. Oh dear, I was pressing the wrong button. So this is a 200, uh, sorry, this is a 48 volt battery. If it was putting out, for example, 10 amps by the controller, that means it would be getting 480 watts at any one time. So if that controller puts out more than 10 amps, then it's more than 500 watts. 
Now, we are on our way to our resident hill climb test called at Sandy Lane and I have had 750 watt e-bikes fail to go up that. I just, I just have uh, the sneaking suspicion that this might just go up here. So, as we get in there, let me tell you a bit more about it. So this is the e-scooter SX250 and it is a legal 250 watt e-bike technically because it doesn't have a grip throttle or anything like that i'm very impressed so far it's really comfortable as well because it's got motorcycle grade everything it's got hydraulic disc brakes as you'd expect it's got big disc discs as well so i'm going 15 I'm going to do it by this tree. As soon as I go past the tree, I'm going to break. No cars coming. And... <laughs> wow. They are the best brakes I've ever used. Just a little... There's the tree. A bit of perspective. That was amazing. And... Rear suspension is monstrous. It really is. And so the 250 watt legal e-bike scootery thing arrived at the hill climb test. The hill climb test that only two e-bikes have managed to get up that both peak at 1000 watts. None of the e-scooters I've tested have made it up, including the 500 watt i-scooter i9 Max. In fact, the e-scooter that made it the furthest was the 240 watt and we H10, but it still didn't make it. That is a cool little scooter, by the way. Check it out on the channel. Right, let's see how this does. And obviously there's no throttle, so I've got to do the ghost pedal thing. But I will not help at all. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so I'm doing my ghost pedal here. It's nice that I can see a car coming. So, so far, it's wiping the floor with my other 250 watt e-bikes. There is the penis post. I don't think you can see why it's called a penis post. Whoa! Well, okay, it is slowing down a bit here. Nine miles an hour. Okay, I'm still not helping, I'm still ghost pedaling. Pretty doesn't like this. I think I might have to just hold that button. But it's doing it. It's not going to win. So it's not quite the same as your 1000 watts. But it's going to make it. I'm just going to go pedal again because it might have been able to go faster. No, it's... Oh shit, I'm still indicating. Six miles an hour. I don't think he likes it. Seven miles an hour. But I'm not helping still. So as soon as you get around here, you can speed up again. And it did it. That's amazing. However, I think I did it a bit of a disservice because I was holding that green button down and it can actually go faster if you're not holding the green button. So I might have to quickly do it again. We are on 86 of battery now. Now, you know what? I'm not going to do it again. I'll do it again when I do the full review because I am going to do a full review of this bike. So all I've shown you right now is that it can actually get up the hill. So it's beaten 750 watt e-bikes up this hill. Now, I'm just hoping that the bike's well made and it doesn't fall to bits on the way down. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. 250 is larger than a standard e-bike and has motorcycle grade parts as well as indicators you do feel a lot more comfortable riding along with the traffic especially with the amazingly clear mirrors that give you an excellent view of what's coming up behind you oh i don't need to do that about an indicator <laughs> 
what else is there to say about this bike for my first impressions I mean first impressions are that it is a wonderful thing but it's just mad that this big beast is legal and those little e-scooters are not and the only reason is is because that I need to pedal in order to make it go forward that's ridiculous one of the craziest things about this though is that 14 year olds can have it 14 year olds it's little kids imagine having one of these I keep pressing the indicator thing instead of that green button it's even got rear pegs so you can have people on it I could go and get my son and give him a lift in fact I might do that because it can definitely pull him. Banana! <laughs> banana! <laughs> I'm a minion, banana! Banana! Oh, look at these bumps. That, that is nothing compared to how it feels on a normal e-bike. This is a great idea. Imagine, you're 14, Christmas day comes, and you get this. No license necessary no insurance no nothing just get on ride off and the great thing is it's got an immobiliser an alarm so you know i just just pulled up at my friend's house i can use that stand if i want the side stand or if i want it to be a bit more secure i can use this one there you go more secure now and you can see you can turn the wheels by the way if it's the side stands on the wheels will not turn uh, and then you're like you know i want to go into the shops i want to go into the shops so i'm going to turn the bike off i'm going to turn the alarm hey now what happens if you try and take the bike that oh i'm going to try and steal the bike oh god and that's what happens you cannot steal the bike the wheels get locked let's turn it back on again so you could just ride it up to a shop and literally just park it out the door put the alarm on walk in get your stuff easy one thing i would say is i wish that the e-bike law the speed limit law would change and that is because Right, I'm a bit weird here, I need to go around, I don't like going under them. I made a video on why you don't go under them. Watch that video if you don't know, if you want you to know why you don't go under those. Well anyway, the e-bike speed law needs to change because although this is a nice speed, uh, unfortunately if someone wanted to, they could actually sprint and catch me because some people can sprint 15 miles per hour plus and I like to think that if I'm on a really expensive piece of machinery I can outpace whoever it is that is trying to get me now granted they won't be able to keep up that speed for too long a time but if they're right next year they'll be able to get it I love that instant go of the green green thing there the green button is fantastic but I find myself relying on it, I, th I think. I keep thinking it's like a throttle. And I'll just, can, I can just press it and it'll go. But it won't. I would, I would like it a lot if you could just use it like that. Chicken, you wanna play chicken here? Yeah? 14, 15, 15, 14, 15, 16, 16. Yeah, it seems pretty accurate. Don't forget if you do like e-bike content and e-scooter and e-skateboard, don't forget to subscribe. Especially if you want to see more of this, because I am going to do a full review. This is just a first impressions. And first impressions are that it's pretty darn cool. I think the thing about this, it just unlocks so many possibilities. If you've enjoyed that little ride with me, hit that thumbs up button. If you enjoyed the fact that I went around a roundabout for once and I hardly ever do that, hit that thumbs up button. Or the fact that it's for once quite a nice day and I'm just wearing a hoodie. So I do feel like I'm, I'm I don't feel like I'm going mega fast now. I reckon another five miles an hour. 21 miles an hour, that'd be a great speed. 
Like, this is fine. There's so many uses for this. Like, you know, you used to ride a bike, but you can't anymore. Well, this just powers you along. <coughs> Can I? Oh, no, I can't really go faster than 16. <coughs> no, you just can't help. There's no gear ratio. This is one gear. It doesn't have gears. Ah, oh, this is lovely. This is lovely. I reckon people in cities, I mean, they probably do, have, like, a whole fleet of these and rent them out so people can get around the city on them. So nice. The seat is really comfortable. It's got like a hook down there to put stuff on. It's got storage in the front, but that's for the charger. Storage at the back for this one. Uh, this has got a tech bar, this bar here. So you can see I've got, I've got the phone mount, which actually can charge your phone as well. Oh, motorbikes. And then it's got, well, well, I've got my camera on there as well. I reckon they're gonna zoom past me there. Oh, that guy on a scooter, let's, let's make fun of him. Let's steal his camera. Yep, they're coming now. Brum brum! But yeah, I'm allowed on the curb, they're not allowed on the curb. Because I'm on a bike, not a scooter, not a moped, a bike. Legal bike that anyone can ride as long as you're 14. So, let me sum up that first impressions before we finish that video. Uh, what do I like about it? There's a lot of stuff I like about it. I love, I love, love, love the fact that it's got motorcycle grade stuff, making a massively comfy and safe ride. Let me just show you those brakes again. Whoa, look at that, that is amazing. I love this tech bar, it is extra, it's about 85 quid or something. I love the storage on it, I love the fact that it's got indicators, again, more like a motorcycle. Uh, I love the fact that it's just such a sedate ride, you don't have to try at all for the pedals and you're never going to get sweaty. The mirrors are brilliant compared to normal what you get on an e-bike. The seat, amazing. The battery, I didn't take it out. The battery, you can remove it and you can charge it wherever you want. I'm going to go more in depth with this. The screen as well is great, it's got temperature on it as well. So I can see, uh, well, I think it's the day temperature, so 16 degrees at the moment. What don't I like? Uh, the things I don't like aren't really e-scooters full. Um, the, basically, I just wish the law would allow it to go around 20 miles an hour. That would be great. Or that This would be amazing for that, if you could go 20, mile, 20 miles an hour. It's still amazing. It is amazing. But I just don't like the fact that someone could sprint up to you and have it. And also, finally, uh, if there were gears, so you could assist it, that would help. So you could actually go a bit faster. But other than that, marvellous. Right, I'm going to end it there then. So, thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for this. If you want to check out other cool e-bikes, do go on the channel. Until next time, this has been the e-scooter SX250 Series 3, which is absolutely brilliant. See more of this and me soon. Until next time, ride safe.